Hey what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna show you the first Redstone 2 build. Uh, this build actually brings only one new feature but brings a bit of corrections and also brings bugs. With the number uh, 4905.1000 it seems that we go again with 0.1000 and one feature that, the, the only feature that this uh, Redstone 2 build got f at least for now is when you receive a call, when you have a missed call, you'll have here an option to call back, which wasn't here that option. Then also the bug fixes that got improved for this one are with the music, for example for uh, apps that are built for Windows Phone 8 but they work here on Windows 10. And for example, if you play a music or if you play music or video on those uh, apps, those apps build it for Windows 8. So when you receive a call, that app still keeps playing the music or the video in the background even you answer the call. So that was kind of annoying. One bug also is the music wasn't resuming after you receive a call, if the turn by turn direction was turned on. Uh, about the battery, can't say much the battery, but I think the battery it's a bit worse because uh, after like 10 minutes ago or 15 minutes ago before I started this video, I had 63% on the battery and now I have 68. Uh, 58, 68. I had 63 and now I have 68 in around 15 minutes, which in the morning at 8 a.m. I had 100%, now I have 58, so it's not really that great the battery. But one bug that come with this um, build is, for example, here you see the Outlook mail, it tells me that I have an unreaded message, which I read this message already, let's see. Uh, it was from my uh, my email. See, I read all the uh, mails here, the Tinui, and it still say here Tinui or Tianui, whatever is the name. It still says that it's unread this message, and this bug come with this build. I think I, I will need to restart the phone to fix this unreaded message. And one bug which is a bit annoying, but I mean you'll not kind of encounter that bug many times. Is for example, you see here Lumia Motion data. It's like pending and I can't uninstall, can't nothing. And even if I go to store to install, I can't uninstall it because it says that uh, this app is not available for my device. Which I don't even know why I tested with this app. <laughs> it's not even an app, it's a settings from kind of... Before it was an app, now it's settings from the, from the Windows. See, this app is not compatible with this device. So I can't install this app to fix, to fix this problem. But this problem resulted from... Let's uh, go here in store. In storage so if you move an application from your device to your SD card or vice versa from SD card to your device it will happen this what happened to me I move I I saw this bug and I went to test with this app because I don't use it and it happened this pending I can't uninstall can't nothing and with this app with the fix you can do it's yeah you can you can go in store install it and it will fix or you can come here if you moved it it will not move, but for example, if you go into your device, where the app is, you go in your apps, you come here in your apps, and you select the app that gives you the problem, select it, for example, equalizer, and uninstall it from here, if you can uninstall it, of course. I uninstalled it, but it kind of still stays here, Lumia Motion, I uninstall it, and it still stays here. Uh, the only fix is to go into store and uh, download it again, but it, now it says that it's not available for my device So it's kind of fucked. I, it will stay here forever Unless I'm gonna restart the reset the phone which that will fix of course But anyway, this is kind of annoying bug But anyway also about the previous video that I say that uh, the Wi-Fi problem on the on the redstone on the anniversary update uh, I got, I fixed that problem, many of you was, were saying, oh did you hard reset the phone or reset the phone, it might fixed. I was thinking that that might work, but you know when you restart your phone, when you reset your phone, it's that pain in the ass, everything got installed new, then you have to log in in, every, in each app. But I did that and it got fixed, now the Wi-Fi doesn't, uh, doesn't disconnect anymore, so the hard reset fixed that, and if some of you might face that kind of a problem, you can also do a hard reset and it will fix this Wi-Fi problem or maybe any other problem that you have because yeah, most, most of the times the hard reset they kind of fix some bugs here and there but the battery now it still stays at 58 I don't know why it went from 63 to 58 but anyway um, this is the, the build doesn't have many new improvements, many new features 
but it's a beginning, it's the beginning of the Redstone 2 or the Anniversary 2 or whatever it will be named. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and let me know if you have any other bugs or problems with this build if you installed it. And yeah, see you in the next one.